Okay, this is finding exact values and trig functions, but I'm going to go over three um, or four separate cases that are a little more difficult. First, let me draw my unit circle and look at these points right here. This ordered pair is x and then y, so it's 1, 0. This is over 0, up 1. And this right here is over negative 1, up 0. And finally, my fourth point right here is over 0, up a negative 1. So x is always going to be your cosine. y is always going to be your sine. So if I have an exact value, say cosine of 0 degrees, well, I know it's going to be my adjacent, which is going to be my cosine, over my hypotenuse. So this first value is always cosine. So it's adjacent over hypotenuse. At each one of these special cases, um, the hypotenuse is always 1. Okay, So that's one way to see it. The other way you could see it is it's actually an imaginary triangle here where even though it's imaginary so I can't actually see it, my opposite leg is 0, my adjacent leg is 1, and my hypotenuse is 1. So same thing, this angle doesn't exist, it's 0 degrees, imaginary triangle. So cosine of 0 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over 1. Sine of 0 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse, so sine of 0 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse 0 over 1 or 0. Okay, So you could see it as an imaginary triangle or you could just look at these coordinates knowing the first value is always your adjacent, the second is always your opposite, and the hypotenuse is always 1. So let's say over here at 180 degrees, my opposite still 0, my adjacent is negative 1, my hypotenuse is 1, so say sine of 180 degrees would be equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, or 0. Cosine of 180 degrees would be my adjacent, negative 1, over my hypotenuse, 1, or negative 1. Tangent of 180, tangent of 180. Tan of 180 is opposite over adjacent. 0 over negative 1 or 0. Let me do one more here. Cotan of 180 degrees, which is the reciprocal of this, would be negative 1 over 0. No, anytime you divide by 0, you end up with an empty set. So cotan of 180 would be the empty set. Right here at 90 degrees, now at 90, my hypotenuse is 1 because it's a unit circle. My opposite is 1. And now my adjacent is 0. So now the sine of 90, sine of 90 degrees, would be equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, 1 over 1. Or you could just know your opposite is 1, your adjacent is 0. Cosine of 90, that would be equal to your adjacent over your hypotenuse, which would just equal 0. So they're hard. I mean, that's why they're called imaginary triangles. But that's how you find the exact value at 0, 90, 180, 270. Down here at 270, your adjacent is still 0, your hypotenuse is 1, but now your opposite's a negative 1. Right? This, again, is your cosine value or your adjacent value. This is your opposite value or your sine value. Hypotenuse is always 1.